lure of Tomogamy's vast wilderness draws countless numbers of outdoor enthusiasts year after year. This is one of the many reasons that we've returned year after year to explore Tomogamy's vast backcountry. On this trip, we will journey down the Sturgeon River over rapids, falls, and rough portages until we meet the Pilgrim Triangle and take the Yorkson River up to the Solace Wildlands. Here, we will venture into solitude and peacefulness through Solace Provincial Park. Traveling the rugged Sturgeon River, we encountered ever-changing scenery, from long, slender lakes to narrow river channels, rapids and shallows. Many of the rapids are easily run and create brief but exciting whitewater thrills. Besides plenty of swifts and class 1 to 2 rapids, the sturgeon tumbles over several waterfalls, including Kettle Falls, which is one of the most scenic cascades in the region. Of course, the numerous rapids and waterfalls meant that it was often necessary to leave the river behind and portage our gear. While many of the portages on this route are short in nature, generally averaging under 300 meters. They're not that simple. In fact, we've found that they're some of the roughest portages we've ever encountered. Often the trail has been overgrown, steep, or riddled with loose boulders that are slippery when wet. The landings sometimes are a jagged garden of rocks and mud, and often you're gonna scrape the canoe up. Have patience when tackling these portages and adjust your route plan accordingly. As many of the area trails see minimal maintenance, be prepared for anything. Storms can cause blowdowns, leaving uprooted or broken trees scattered across trails. Maneuvering a canoe or gear around these obstacles, often through dense bush or soggy bogs, can make portaging a difficult and time-consuming task. In late summer, low water levels may be encountered, turning once flowing creeks and streams into a shallow muddy mess. Forward progress in a fully loaded canoe can be extremely slow. So when the water eventually runs out, be prepared to line or face a messy impromptu portage. We stopped for a lunch break on this little island on Yorston Lake. This is a site where in 1946, a small airplane crashed and burned. Now from the shore, you can see some wreckage. There's a bit of metal and a bit of wood, but not too much is down there. But we decided to put on our mask and snorkels and take a closer look. After experiencing troubles in flight, this bush plane, manufactured by the Waco Aircraft Company, made a forced landing and burned. While much of the wreckage was salvaged following the crash, the lake has preserved a scattered debris field of twisted metal, decaying wood, and rusting mechanicals. Be sure to bring a mask and snorkel to fully explore the wreckage and dive into a part of Tomogamy's history.
there's something way up there. And, uh, there's something up there. Another piece of the area's history can be seen on this rock wall covered with native pictographs. The red-colored, hand-painted symbols are worn and weathered and hard to distinguish here on videotape. We've enhanced this symbol to make it a little clearer. But a close look at these ancient paintings reveals outlines of people and animals from another era. As we paddle deeper into Tomogamy, we journey through the Salus Wildlands, a roadless and pristine expanse of wilderness. This area is characterized by large tracts of old growth, high peaks, and rustic campsites. A few days spent paddling through this wilderness is truly a spiritual and thought-provoking experience, where the only assault on your senses is the haunting cry of the loon.